Welcome everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us on this call. Uh, really thankful that you're spending the time. Also want to invite anyone, if you have after the call, want to reach me personally, do not, hes uh, do not hesitate to do so. So let's start. Uh, Lurke is a company based in Zurich, which is structured as a kind of movement. So I want to introduce you first, Sergei. Uh, Sergei will afterwards explain the te technical details. I will try to give you an overview. We're planning to build a global marketplace. And the reason why we want to do this is blockchain technology pioneered by Bitcoin offers a unique opportunity to rewire the financial system. And the reason why we want to do this is I mean, we're all aware that the global economic system is not in equilibrium. I mean, you have quantitative easing, you have involved lowering of interest rates. Nevertheless, there's continuous big unemployment and there is big, big piled up political tension. In our analysis, the reason for all this is that the financial system as a whole doesn't function in the way as it should. And one of the key reasons for that is that there is no efficiently functioning marketplace. Now, my personal background is actually to study the microstructure of financial markets, very much in natural sciences. We first look at data and from the data bottom up, we build models. And in doing this work, I've learned a lot about what makes a market really tick in an efficient way, and what is the reason why a market does not function. This has then led me also to kind of be a co-founder of Oanda and build such a kind of market-making engine. I've had a lot of hands-on experience. And out of this, I've come to the realization that there is one thing which we need in the world that is a global marketplace where all assets and all types of instruments can be traded. The efficiency of that marketplace depends on an efficient underlying infrastructure. Blockchain is this kind of technology. Now, we all are aware that this technology is in its early stages of development, and then over the coming years, a lot will happen. So, what we want to do is build a marketplace with a matching engine which attracts liquidity because an efficient marketplace needs liquidity so that a buyer or a seller has a counterparty which can is ready to do the other side of the deal. And for this, we need the efficient structure. And now the goal of building such a marketplace, which initially focus on foreign exchange, is extremely ambitious. I believe that such a project only has success if we follow a crowd-based approach that is, and this is why I'm so grateful that you're joining us, is that we have a kind of setup which invites outsiders who would otherwise not have immediate access to join us and join in this effort. So this is why we have set up what we call Luca City and have citizens and the citizens are really like citizens of, of Zurich as a town in Switzerland. They are our inhabitants. And we invite you to take the initiative and kind of shape the future of Lurke and make the dream of creating a global marketplace where anyone around the world has immediate access and that this marketplace is a level playing field can become a reality. So form teams, invited to trade our preferred currency, that is Luca Coins. Take charge of the wiki. It's a platform for you to communicate and initiate projects and also participate in projects which other people launch. And this is why we're now having the call, that is the software design competition of how to really come up with the best possible design. So I want to give Sergey, the word to explain our, how we approach the design competition.
Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Richard. Let me uh, explain some of the simple um, uh, use cases that can... Um, oh, can you see me now? <laughs> okay. Uh, let me explain you some uh, simple use cases that can be used to, in the uh, Liquid Exchange uh, marketplace to um, actually just showcase how it can, can function and can help you to understand the architecture that we have in mind. So, um, just to start with the basic notion of the color coin issuance. Uh, uh, the color coin itself is a, is a piece of the uh, Satoshi, it's a piece of uh, Bitcoin which is colored and uh, binded to a particular uh, uh, asset, which can be in our case uh, in the FX market is the uh, actual uh, account in, in a particular bank, which is um, uh, binded with the, with the uh, equal amount of color coins. So let's say that uh, our, uh, like a, a person or individual or company uh, like hedge fund like Alice, it, it like to trade um, color coin products, uh, which is uh, featured by this uh, AAA bank. Uh, it goes to this bank and opens a, an, a, an account, um, and it cashes in a particular amount of say one million US dollars. Um, the bank, AAA bank, uh, it um, sets aside those money. Uh, it freezes those uh, one million dollar and issues uh, equivalent amount of the color coins uh, in the form of um, uh, a crypto certificates which can be traded and uh, which uh, is, uh, the ownership of which is uh, strictly binding to the wallet which it uh, um, belongs to. So uh, the bank transfers those uh, 1000k US dollars in the color coins to Alice's uh, wallet uh, and uh, it also may provide the leverage, so it may um, actually ex extend the, the credit to, to Alice and uh, transfer her additional, say, three to one leverage, three million uh, extra color coins to her margin wallet, so that she can trade uh, uh, with the leverage. And um, um, on the next uh, stage, they just uh, register those coins. The bank registers the issuance of the coins on the Liquid platform, and the Alice actually registers her, her wallet on the Liquid platform so that she can trade uh, and uh, trade with the other brokers or with the other participants. So how could actually the trading can go? Uh, we can provide some simple examples of this. Uh, say that Alice would like to just uh, convert her dollars into, the, uh, into euro. Uh, so she has this uh, uh, 1000 K USD color coins issued by a AAA bank uh, and she, she would just like to convert them into the uh, euro and say the, there is a broker, triple, AAA broker, prime broker on this market who market makes uh, the, co the, the pair of uh, uh, color coins uh, AAA euro to AAA uh, USD and it sets a bid and ask price uh, so that, that anyone could come and buy and sell those prices. Alice uh, sees the order book, she wants to buy euro and he, she has the USD. She sees the order book and she sends the market by order to the broker AAA and um, Lick, uh, uh platform just matches those two. Uh, so it, it here it works like an ordinary um, uh, marketplace, so it just matches the two, two orders and she produced, uh, it produced a trade uh, with a price of, of, of an ask price 1.1 and the volume of uh, uh, 909k um, euro. And she uh, delicately settles the trades. She produces the peer-to-peer um, -peer, uh, transaction. So the dollars from the Alice USD wallet um, comes to the broker USD wallet and the euro from the broker wallet comes to the Alice um, uh, euro wallet. So it is done um, just immediate uh, after the trade is uh, execu executed. And uh, so this is the, the, the important uh, feature of this platform. It should be quite immediate settlement. And Alice uh, directly owns the euro in her wallet. 
which she, she can gen then uh, uh, destruct and go to the bank and uh, just convert it into real uh, euro, euro in her account in a AAA bank. Um, the next uh, use case is uh, when you would like to trade and you can trade with another individual. So uh, many individuals uh, or like hedge funds organizations come to this marketplace and they put uh, limit orders. So Alice would, has her USD color coins uh, and she wants to buy euro like in the same in the previous example. Uh, but there is uh, for some reason she wants uh, a, a better price. So she sends a limit by order to the liquid to the liquid marketplace with a maximum price of 1.1 and volume 901k. And uh, there's another person, Bob, who actually also sees the either uh, he sees the uh, order book or he just sends a limit sell to the order book uh, with a mean price of 1.09 uh, uh, and volume 1000. And she, uh, he has the euro and the match. So those two orders are matched in the, in the order book and the leaky produces the trade and settles them peer-to-peer -peer, uh, between their wallets uh, transferring USD from Alice uh, to Bob and Euro from Bob to Alice. Um, the next example is uh, the interbank transfer. So say that you have more than one bank you have several banks and uh, several people, individuals have uh, the color coins of different banks and they want actually just to, uh, to swap, to exchange the, um, those color coins. For example, Alice, she has the USD color coins of Triple B Bank uh, and she uh, wants to transfer her USD to Triple A Bank uh, where she has an account so that she can, she can cash out. Uh, and there is, a, there is Bob who has the USD color coins of AAA bank. And uh, Alice just put an order uh, to transfer, to, to uh, actually exchange uh, USD color coins of AAA bank to the USD color coins of AAA banks. And the price can be one if you have the banks of the equal credit uh, um, rating, but actually cannot be the case. For example, in this case, say B is the rating of the bank, which is uh, a different credit quality. And so the, the price could be not uh, could be not uh, equal to one. Can can uh, imply some credit risk uh, adjustment, sort of uh, CVA, if you if you say that uh, the difference between the expected loss of the of the two banks. And uh, Alice um, and Bob they are matched, and Leaky produces a transfer of the coins uh, of the both are USD, but from the different banks. And Alice uh, uh, um, sends 1,000k triple uh, B USD to, to Bob, and in, in, uh, and she gets back uh, a smaller amount, 990k from AAA Bank. So these are not equal dollars because the credit quality is different. Um, and just notice here that um, we. There is no real money transfer in the payment system. So there is no need to send the SWIFT messages and to send the real money across the interbank network. It's just uh, like changing the IOUs, changing the, the rights to, to demand the um, account in a particular bank. And this is, a, I think, it's a fabulous uh, model when you don't need to wait several days when the money will transfer between the banks. Um, using the old legacy uh, system. And uh, another example is the money market opportunities. So on all, all previous examples, we had the, um, the, um, the duration of a contract, which is, uh, can be set up by the bank, how, how much to take to cash out the, the color coins to a particular uh, um, uh, account in a bank, so it can take say one hour to to two hours to three hours. But actually, bank can set up the the, the duration like a three months. So if you uh, cash out your color coins in a bank, and the duration is three months, the bank actually uh, gets you money delivered in a three months time. 
and this allows the opportunity to create a money market uh, based on this uh, platform. Say that Alice has the color coins of uh, Triple Bank with duration of three hours, so the bank actually promises to cash out uh, these color coins into the uh, actual account in the bank in three hours, while the Bob has the USD color coins of the same bank, but the duration is three months. So Alice wants to actually um, sort of uh, swap her spot uh, um, uh, USD to a three months delayed delivery USD, and she sends uh, and sets up, sets up a price 1.02. So she actually wants a two percent uh, um, interest, sort of paid uh, for this swap, and uh, and she sets up a volume. Then Bob sees that okay, there is a demand. Uh, she, he also sends her um, another to Liki, and Liki matches those trade, and we just exchange the three months uh, USD in AAA bank into the three hour USD, and the price is uh, set up. Uh, uh, and uh, Alice transfers 1000k to to Bob's wallet, so he, Bob's can just immediately uh, cash out the, the, this amount of money, while Alice uh, now has. 1020k uh, in her three months wallet so now she can actually um, uh, she can go to the bank and uh, distract those color coins and just after three months they will be delivered to her account so I think it's quite an elegant way um, to 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 um, to actually uh, uh, create the money market of those uh, color coins and the, the good thing about this uh, is that you don't need to the banks actually uh, don't need to um, to transfer any particular uh, uh, money between the banks so it's just all set up in the uh, color coins exchange um, uh, if you speak about the technical piece how this should function uh, we're not quite uh, uh, restricting anyone to a particular solution or, or architecture uh, instead of this, we'd like to be open and welcome your ideas. We just want to uh, say um, a couple of examples how it should not look like, uh, because there is, of course, the risk if you have the centralized exchange, which is, of course, internet-based, and uh, you want to, um, uh, like, like many exchanges uh, are organized now, the clients actually transfer their um, wallets into the exchange and the private keys are sto uh, uh, like stored in the exchange uh, marketplace. This model is very vulnerable to the uh, to attack because if anyone is uh, can like hack into the system and just steal the private keys and uh, create a mess, uh, then of course the story is over. Like uh, with the famous uh, Bitcoin exchange MT Gox, which was hacked. So this model is not safe, of course. Um, one would like to argue, okay, let's store the private keys on the client side and the exchange could just match the, the trades. Uh, this model is um, not also optimal because when you, of course, you are safe because all the clients have their own uh, wallet keys. Uh, but in this case, the exchange cannot guarantee the delivery because once uh, the trade is matched, now the exchange has to enforce the delivery. And uh, this is a weak point in this model because uh, this uh, message cannot go through, for example, and the delivery is fully um, now um, controlled by the client who can just, you know, for some operational risk reasons uh, cannot do it. And so this model, when the client keys are stored on the client side, is also not, all, not guaranteeing the delivery of, of, of this trade. So um, we need to we envision some kind of hybrid model uh, where the keys are sort of um, distributed and uh, not a single party can control the full key and uh, please be creative here and uh, propose a model which can handle uh, uh, the delivery guarantee and the safeness of the uh, marketplace venue. Uh, this is a sample technical architecture that uh, so it's just also for, for, for a draft so it can uh, can be very much different, but the typical um, blocks here are the, the matching engine, which should be uh, architectured. Uh, the matching engine receives the message queue uh, from the client trading application. 
it, we can use a fix or some other kind of protocols here. Um, uh, there should be an API connection uh, from the issuers uh, who actually um, say that those AAA bank who issues the color coins uh, and it should register the this issuance within the blockchain and within the um, within the leaky marketplace. All the settlement is envisioned to be on the blockchain, the public uh, uh, decentralized ledger. Uh, it has, uh, um, of course, its own limitations, but uh, so currently it's, uh, uh, so as you know, the color coins is a part of the Bitcoin, uh, and, and of course it's settled on the blockchain. Um, and leaky margin can also produce the trade logs and order logs and can be stored in the real time in some kind of database and with a compliance system, which is not a part of the, of the scope of this competition. So there are uh, several requirements which are crucial for this kind of architecture. Uh, of course, when you deal with the FX, it's typically high throughput, uh, high number of messages uh, arriving into the machine engine uh, and potentially can be matched in the transactions. Uh, so um, this high throughput will generate a lot of trades and those trades can ideally need to be immediately settled in the median time less than 15 minutes uh, which is a technical problem because currently the blockchain um, is concentrated towards like five uh, transactions per second so uh, these technical uh, limitations can be uh, overcome with different uh, side chains so also please be creative here um, and of course the direct ownership should be always uh, maintained so there should be a, a wallets and with the private keys controlled by the clients but maybe not fully because we need to guarantee the delivery so we need also to uh, to envision some kind of smart contracts to to execute the trades so that can no one no one can interfere this execution process and uh, like for fate or hack the, the exchange. Uh, please refer to the uh, white paper on the, uh, on the Wiki, uh, LeakyX uh, uh, website. Uh, there is more information there. And this is just the bullets of the business requirements. So what operations should be automated? Uh, we gave some examples with the Alice and Bob and uh, there are more functions which are actually need to be uh, um, proposed and architectured. I would like to point your attention to the process of uh, matching of the orders. The leaky exchange is not just a um, typical continuous double auction. It will have uh, the rules of dynamic reordering of the orders based on price spread time priority. Please refer to the uh, white paper on this. Uh, we envision this uh, uh, point because Currently, there is a race to, to the speed in the market. So there are all those high-frequency traders who would like to be the fastest, who would like to trade in a, um, sort of front run, the big orders in the market, which, is, which creates the vulnerability and, uh, in fact, the flash crashes on the market. So we'd like to uh, make this matching engine more resilient to those um, flash crashes and introduce some... Uh, uh, better uh, organized uh, matching engine, which should also not just take into account price and time priority, but also the spread. And uh, therefore, we're uh, sort of um, uh, making advantage of the market makers in this market, which of course creates stability by putting the uh, liquidity on the market. Um, and uh, also, the trading parameters can be varied, like a tick size or a minimum quote life. Uh, if you uh, have questions on what, how it should look like, please refer to us. We'll be happy to answer uh, and read the technical rules on, on the Leaky X, uh, on the Leaky City. Uh, the technical requirements are also, maybe I mentioned some of them. So the decentralized ledger should be used to record the executions. So ideally it should be a public uh, uh, decentralized ledger because it's currently the only uh, way to ensure the trust uh, on the, on the un low trust environment. Um, this uh, technology should ensure the privacy of transaction, so probably the volume and the price could be cryptoed and uh, uh, stored in the, like encrypted, uh, encrypted fields. 
Um, the exchange will guarantee the delivery versus payment, so it should immediately match the two sides uh, in a peer-to-peer -peer mode, so there is an immediate transfer of the ownership between the two parties when the trade is uh, executed. And uh, it should ensure the safety of the customer funds in this low trust environment, even if the exchange is hacked and, uh, and the hacker uh, can actually watch the uh, orders coming in and, um, and can simulate those orders. Even in this case, uh, the, uh, the customer funds should stay safe. And uh, also the uh, safety of the coins issuance should be safe. Uh, so no forfeiting should be possible uh, that uh, you cannot uh, actually create the fake uh, color coins and, uh, and, and apply it to the banks for the cash out. As I mentioned, the performance is, is important. Uh, the, the maximum performance we envision is uh, up to 100,000 uh, uh, transactions per second. Um, of course, it uh, can be controlled by the um, actually um, some, so it's not a, it not not requires the immediate settlement in a second. Uh, so the second uh, the settlement can be delayed, and uh, ideally not more than 15 minutes on average. Um, and uh, the whole system should function uh, um, like 24/7 with high uh, up up rate. Should be resilient uh, to attacks and hardware failures, and uh, should uh, have the minimum recovery time after the failure. Um, so the competition will open in the 8th of October, and it will con uh, constitute of uh, three periods. Uh, after which period, we will set up the uh, uh, select the winners and set up the prices for them. So the first period will end up in the, uh, October 22, so it's like two weeks' time, where um, uh, the, you can propose uh, like a draft of the architecture and a solution of, of this uh, complex problem of the uh, marketplace. After this uh, sec the first period, there will be a voting, so all the projects will uh, become public, and uh, the leakage inhabitants and citizens can actually, actually citizens can vote on those and uh, the process will be ranked, and then they will be scored by expert committee, and 16 best uh, projects will be granted uh, 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 half a million Liki coins, which is equivalent of um, 2,000 USD. And uh, after those, after, after this, there will be a second period of, um, from 27th of October to 11th of November, where the, those, um, Proposed solutions should be elaborated and further, uh, 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 maybe they can mix with each other and, and create a better solution. Uh, and uh, the four best uh, uh, architectures will be uh, selected and granted 1 million Liki coins with, around, with about 4,000 USD equivalent. And uh, uh, the participation in the second period is not limited to the winners of the first period, so everyone can participate as well uh, and uh, propose their like, hybrid solution between the two or, or more projects selected in the first period. And after, the, uh, after this, there will be final four on the period, uh, the last period, which start in November 16 and end in November 30th, uh, uh, 30, uh, when the the winner will be selected and granted a prize of 2 million Liki coins and an equivalent of 8,000. And this uh, winner will be granted, granted an option to lead the development of the Liki platform and uh, um, become actually a, the development leader of this open source project. All, 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 all development will be open source uh, and uh, it can use other open source components and the result will be also open source. Uh, the development process will be uh, most, most likely be based on a Scrum um, uh, approach, but it's we're still open and quite agnostic to the, to the particular schemas. And uh, about the Leaky Coins, uh, so Leaky Coin is uh, the, uh, at the same time is a part of the equity of the Leaky, so it corresponds to one hundreds of the of one share of the leaky 
and so when you, when anyone owns the Liki coin, it owns a, a piece of the uh, of the Liki company. But the the, the price or the sort of uh, uh, buyback is guaranteed uh, for the next year, and uh, the uh, the price of one Liki is fixed to the um, 0.4 cents of the USD, and uh, um, the winners can actually decide whether they keep the liquid coins and participation in the project, or they just cash out in the in USD. In USD. Uh, please read information about the competition rules on the Liki City, and actually, yes, welcome to Liki City. Uh, if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer. Sergey, thank you for kind of presenting it. I want to thank everyone for listening and hearing our presentation. I want to invite you to uh, ask questions now or if you prefer also send us individual emails or questions that are raised. Uh, what's the difference between the stages and what we need to do in stage one? So actually stage one is just uh, um, uh, the, the first and the most important period because you need to set up the uh, the architecture that you propose um, and uh, mention the technologies that you may use for the Liki platform. Um, the difference between the period one and period two is this, that uh, on, this, on, this, on the second period you can further elaborate your idea and ideally create some kind of proof of concept, um, a demo version which then can be uh, demonstrated. Uh, it's not a must, but it's a uh, it's very, uh, it's, it will be very good if you present the, uh, the demo version of the solution on the second period. Uh, well, stage three is just is the final four. So we have the four competing uh, architectures and uh, uh, the best one will be selected uh, uh, based on the criteria of the, like I mentioned, the, uh, the throughput, so the ability to process the traffic on the FX uh, and the ability to settle the trades uh, efficiently in the public ledger and uh, so there will be just the best uh, solution possible will be selected from the stage three but it's all the same architectures can be presented on the first period elaborated on the second period and just uh, um, win the final four on the stage three so the goal the ultimate goal of the competition is to uh, come out with the best possible architecture of the, uh, of the platform which can satisfy all of the requirements uh, to such, su such kind of, uh, of systems. So, yes, we use the uh, blockchain infrastructure and uh, use the color coin protocol to issue our coins. Which, that's the basic framework. So, actually, the function is we first buy a Bitcoin, slice it up in small tranches, and then uh, one Lucky coin has a very small increment of Bitcoin inside, but includes the IOU in terms of representing a share of Lucky. Uh, maybe I can also add that, uh, uh, which is different from from other uh, approaches, like which is taken by, for example, by N, uh, uh, Ethereum or NXT, when you need to buy the uh, particular uh, coin uh, of Ethereum or or BitShares uh, to actually use this platform in a Liki, you, you 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 wouldn't need to actually buy the color coin of the Liki to use the platform. Uh, so. There is no need to actually. Uh, it's not not used as a fuel for for the platform, uh, which is which is makes it different from the other platforms. And uh, also, we are thinking of the current constraints uh, of the Bitcoin of the blockchain. Uh, so maybe we'll see the increase of the of the block size in the future so but currently the capacity of handling the large amounts of of transaction is very limited in the bitcoin blockchain so uh, and currently we are open for for the other infrastructure which can be used uh, uh, 
I, I mean this both side chains or some kind of uh, private chains uh, which should actually make enabling enable the um, to handle the amount of all the transaction which is can be produced by the machine engine and uh, so Bitcoin blockchain is the ideal infrastructure we would need to use would like to use because it's uh, already uh, uh, very powerful but due its constraints uh, we consider the other possibilities as well so so please be creative <laughs> and uh, suggest your, your your ideas in this as well uh, question from Daniel: Where is the position? Man yes, where the position management taking place? Uh, you mean the position by the uh, oh, the inventory, right? So the inventory is uh, uh, is uh, actually in this in this marketplace. The inventory is stored in the in the wallets. So the color coins wallets uh, uh, they mm, in any given moment they maintain the the position of of the inventory. Of a particular um, uh, contract in the form of color coins, and uh, they are settled immediately after the trade is uh, is done, and uh, all the confirmation is. Uh, so the blockchain is uh, functions like this: you when when you when you um, send a, a transaction there, it's immediately get recorded and just waiting to be confirmed uh, from the nodes in the system. So um, um, when the, the transaction is confirmed by three or more nodes, it's considered to be confirmed at all, and uh, the position actually automatically uh, maintained by the wallet. So thank you everyone for contributing, and really eager to get uh, the best possible ideas, because it's an ambitious project, and it will only succeed if we're able to bring together the most uh, insightful designs possible. Thank you very much for participating. I wish everyone a nice day.